I think by better communication, really, between policy makers and service providers, and also to revisit, you know, policy delivery to evaluate how it's, how it's panning out based you know, over the short and long term. For me, the, the number one thing is, you know, your public bodies, your local authorities, if putting things in place but actually sticking to them. It's all right having things on paper and you know a tick box, but making sure what we say we want done does get done. Robust policies uh, and, and policing, I suppose, to a certain extent, because actually the, the legislation is in place. It's about actually making sure that uh, there is enough being done to ensure that uh, that the statutory requirements are being met. I just think um, more involvement in everyday news, everything. Um, be more of a community. Education, really, and um, integration, but not at the expense of giving up one's culture to integrate to, to another. I think it's got to be intercultural where people share and learn from each other as opposed to just saying, well, the dominant culture is the best culture, so minority cultures have a lot to offer, so they need to be taken on board quite seriously. Probably say health because I've got um, a particular interest in the health agenda, um, but I'd want to see that much more than simply about personal health issues, so I'd want to see a wider approach to the social determinants of health, the, the links between poverty, inequality, um, housing, you know, crime, antisocial behaviour, where people live, all of those factors and how they contribute to health and well-being as to be in touch with the people of Britain, um, that it's ever evolving and changing and that everybody is different and that we need to respect and admire everybody's strengths. It's about an equal playing field, one of choice, giving individuals choice and the focus to be on those individuals and their skills and embracing everything together.